Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, and I'm out here playing a tournament today. We're with El Jefe, Mark, and Elias. We're at Tejeras Creek in Orange County, and this is the Nolan Arenado Celebrity Golf Tournament. Celebrity? I don't know, yeah. something like that. Uh, we're here, it's a scramble. You're only gonna see one of us hit every shot. And we'll get right out there to number one. Here we go. Something I've been wanting to do for a very long time here on the channel, have some fun at a scramble event and see how low we can go. We're gonna start here with the first hole, which was our last of the day. We started on the second, but this first is a par five, under 500 yards from the white tees. We're gonna be able to take it up and over the corner of those bunkers, leaving plenty of fairway for us here. On the approach, the green is slightly above the fairway and well protected for a par five. A short front hole location here is protected by the false front. Now I generally hit last when I play in scrambles. It's just the way it goes. I see everyone else go ahead of me, put one in the fairway, and then I can take the aggressive line. Here we had a ball close to the hole, but I wanted to hit one myself anyway. Flagging it here at the end of our day. Hippity doo dah. Oh, I think you might attack it. And right next to the flag for a three foot eagle putt to close out our day, but to start this video, we'll take it two under par through one, and we're off to the second hole. A shorter par four, 380 from the tips, but only 325 today from those white tees. If you're playing it down the fairway, left and right bunkers are gonna protect this. The fairway is gonna dip down past the bunkers and then raise back up into the green, which is protected by bunkers on the right and not much room to play with on the left. The big hill before the green is substantial here on this par four. Now this was our first tee shot of the day. There was a ball in the fairway from one of my playing competitors. Competitors? No, those are playing partners today. We're playing some team golf. I sent one down next to the green and we decided to see if we can get it up and down. Wanted to land on the fringe and I was missed by a foot. Not a horrible flop shot for me from there up to about 15 feet, and Elias here had the first putt Boom. that anyone had Done. all day long. To the bottom of the cup for the birdie, and we can head to number three. The hardest hole here on the front nine. This thing will stretch out to 477 yards from the tips, and it plays up the hill to these spectacle bunkers here, framing the fairway as it necks down. Up and over that little hill, it's gonna drop down and then raise back up to this green. Another one protected by a pair of bunkers left and right. And because of the terrain, it's pretty difficult to roll your ball up to most of these greens. Now here, Dr. Red had a great shot right down the middle that, well, even after my bomb down the right-hand side, this was the place to be. Fight, fight. A little knockdown gap wedge for me here from about 120 yards. Took a big bounce, took a big bounce right next to the flag. Four feet under the hole for birdie. Bingo, two in a row with this guy. Gonna be on the all day. All day. And, uh, well... Bobby was getting a little bit jealous. El Jefe, you'll get your chance sooner, sooner or later. I'm sure of it. Now here, the par four fourth is a gorgeous one. Wrapping around to the right. It's the first time we're gonna see some water come into play here on the entire golf course. That bunker right is as far right as you really wanna go. The green is protected well again. Now coming off both those birdie putts for us, Elias just knocked it right down the center stripe for us. I tried to cut the corner with my driver, but splashed one down into the water, just about a yard short of dropping it right in front of the green. It was what it was. We're back here on the fairway from 130 yards. Dr. Red knocks it down pin high, but it was just up here on the fringe. 
a tough one for all of us. You can see how we're just barely knocking it out of the fringe and this ball is going to take off down the hill. No one was able to knock it in. A little kick in par for the group and we're settling back down. The first par three of the day is here, number five. From an elevated tee box, it's all carry to a green protected on two sides by the lake. That's really good. Be good distance, please. That's a golf shot, gentlemen. At this point, the group behind us had always been right behind us. Oh, uh, we're done. We're done. I'm on the camera. I'm on the camera. Yes, sir. El Jefe. Ever since he sent the invite for this tournament, Bobby was so looking forward to having his shot on the camera and well hey you sink a 25 footer and you're gonna have your moment and of course he had to tell the group behind us because i mean that was the tournament host nolan arenado mlb superstar third baseman for the st louis cardinals he was there with his teammate lars newtbar with his brother and another buddy these guys were awesome they were such a good time to be around all day I almost wish they were in our group, but hey, you can't play golf as a group of eight. Down here on the sixth hole, it's a simpler par four. Bunker on the right, on the fairway, and these trio of bunkers protecting that elevated green at the end of the hallway. It was my turn again to step up and let loose. We had one in the fairway, and I just sent one down way past our teammates. From about 65 yards, an awkward number for some, but here for Dr. Red, well, he knocked it up just past the hole to about 15 feet, and we had a look at it. And by the time it was my turn, I really had a good idea of what this putt was going to do. Oh my lord, how in the hell? I'll tell you what, this game is brutal sometimes. And to be honest, there's really nothing quite like good team golf. It's so much fun to be out here with a good group of people and just having a good time. It makes holes like this, the long seventh hole, a lot easier to manage. Now, none of my partners ended up hitting the screen, so it was on me to hit a good shot. A smooth seven iron into the breeze, sent this one into the middle of the green, and I just had to lag something up there, trying to hit it closer than Dr. Red hit his, but it wasn't meant to be. Gonna be a team par here, as uh, you know how scrambles go, you gotta mark your spot, and everyone keeps to play from there. Easy first putt par, and we can head down to the nice par five eighth, which has the long drive competition for the events. So it's time to let loose. Look at how narrow this hole is. And off the tee, it is blind. It's got a little bit of a crest off the tee. Over 100, 200 yards, and you're gonna send it over that crest and you're not gonna see where it lands. Heading down the hill slightly, all the way down towards the green, there's gonna be a pair of bunkers there sitting in the hillside protecting any balls trying to roll up the face as you know this green is elevated from the area around it like most playing the big cut for me here trying to give you a run for your money mark which into the wind is always the go-to play keeping it down the fairway is the most important thing on these long drive competitions and well, it just wasn't my day. I thinned that four iron right down in front of the green. I guess you could call it a good miss. And here, Elias knocked it up nice and close for us once again to about 10 feet. Yeah, right, right there. <laughs> and well, after we saw a few putts, Dr. Red had his turn. Is that the speed? Speed, let's go. A nice little birdie after a little drought there for a couple holes, we were able to get one to drop again. 
Now the ninth hole, it's one of the tougher ones here on the front nine as it really requires a good drive to set up any kind of approach. Those big trees will frame the approach and really constrict your shots, forcing you to hit a precise one back into this green, elevated again from the fairway around it. Now a nice one here from Elias down the middle for the group. And I blasted mine way right. Was not going to be something we could work with. But when it came time to the approach shot, no one was on the green. So I just played this one to the heart of the green to ensure we had a putt at it. This one spun back a lot, though. Back to the front of the green. We had a long 40, 50 foot look at it here for birdie. Come on, come on, go. It is cool being able to see some putts go before you. It allows you to get those lines and have some good times. Hey, that's nine holes down. We'll see you next week for the back nine. Later.